In your Reddit AMA that you did a few months back, you said, quote, I'm not a fan of organic fertilizers. In my opinion, organic agriculture is not always good for the environment, and it's not always good for human health. Other than that, organic is great for recycling wastes back to gardens and farms. This recycling saved the planet, end quote. Can you elaborate on what you meant by saying that organic agriculture is not always good for the environment and not always good for human health? Yeah, I, I understand my, those, those were my comments and they still are. And I understand that shocked a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, they didn't, people didn't expect me to say that. Um, but I, I really got into agriculture because of organic agriculture. I mean, many decades ago, I was gonna save the planet through better, more sustainable agricultural production. And this is in Minnesota, but I started growing vegetables and I had a little roadside stand and it was organic. And then I started studying it and I went back to school in agriculture. And let me start by saying the principles of recycling are just a gold standard. We absolutely need to recycle things back to agriculture way more than we do. It's a huge issue. And that is a fundamental tenet of organic agriculture. Recycle things back to agriculture, recycle the nutrients. So that's a, that's a terrific gold standard. Now we get into the details of doing that. And one example is, um, manures, which we rely on heavily for nitrogen to recycle. They need to be recycled. But it turns out manures are very high in phosphorus. So if you put on manure to get the adequate nitrogen, this is composted manure now, so it's, it's safe. Uh, because of official organic uh, standards require significant composting to make sure it's safe. You can't just put fresh manure on. The, but you, you put manure on to get nitrogen and the phosphorus is way too high. And you do it again the next year and the next year and the phosphorus builds up to very, very high levels. And phosphorus is a serious environmental pollutant. So we have a lot of organic fields that are putting phosphorus into lakes and rivers. Now, what we really should do is put the manure on to get adequate phosphorus and find the nitrogen somewhere else. Then, then this problem would be gone and we'd be recycling manure and we, we could put it on a lot more fields too because there's ample phosphorus. But that's one example of the challenges of organic agriculture. And really it comes down to precision fertilization. Not too much, not too little, the right ratios of the nutrients at the right time. And that's difficult to do with organics. You can you can sort of do it. You get um, rock phosphate and green manures. You know we can we can approach it. And certainly my, my colleagues are working on this at some other universities um, to recycle nitrogen, especially with green manures, growing a crop every other year. All those things. This is all wonderful stuff. But in the application of it, it nutrients become imbalanced and there's a, a danger to the environment. So th that's underappreciated by people that are enthusiasts for organics. The principle is good, but there's been big challenges in the application. Now we can say that about conventional agriculture too. I mean, we want to grow a lot of food. So we put synthetic fertilizers on and there's nothing really wrong with synthetic fertilizers, but boy, do they get overused too. So it's not like conventional farming is, is all good and organic is bad. It's not that way at all. It's the applications of it are challenging. That's a long answer to the, to the environmental part of this, but it's not always good to, uh, to if in, our, in our attempt to recycle everything, we get nutrient imbalances that have environmental consequences. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrowAt15 to save on any of their products.